In this episode, you'll learn how to implement an HTML and JavaScript client to accept a one-time Boleto payment with a custom form. So Boleto is an official payment method in Brazil. It's regulated by the Brazilian Federation of Banks, or like the Central Bank of Brazil. And to complete a transaction, customers receive a voucher that says the amount that they're going to pay for goods and services. It also has like a, a numeric code. Customers then pay for Boleto before its expiration date at one of several different places, including authorized agencies, banks, ATMs, or like online banking portals. Then you as the merchant will receive payment confirmation after two business days along with those settled funds. So in this example, we're gonna assume that you already have a server set up for creating payment intents and you wanna start adding support for accepting and creating these Boleto vouchers on the front end. So if you don't already have a server implemented, head over and take a look at one of our example integrations in an officially supported server language. Also, before we get too far, if you're using React, we have videos for accepting Boleto payments with that client implementation, and that'll also be linked down in the description. All right, let's get started. So our server is up and running. It has two endpoints that we're gonna interact with today. One is slash config for fetching publishable keys. The other is slash create payment intent. And that's gonna take in a payment method type. We're gonna pass Boleto here, and it will also take a currency. We're gonna pass Heyows. This endpoint is going to create a payment intent on the server and then return its client secret property. We're gonna use this client secret property to confirm the payment on the client. All right, so let's take a look at what we already have. Right now, That we've got a simple index.html file here with a link out to Boleto.html. Uh, on the right side, we see our demo preview. So this is the uh, Boleto page that we'll go implement now. So we've already scaffolded out a basic HTML structure. Next, we're gonna import Stripe.js from js.stripe.com, then import utils. It's just gonna have a simple helper function for logging out status messages to this div down on line nine. And finally, we're gonna import Boleto.js, which again is uh, yet to be implemented. Now to add Boleto to our form, we don't need any special elements, any Stripe elements. Instead, we can collect some billing information from the customer, and then we will submit that when we're confirming payment. Now for Boleto, at a minimum, we need the name, the email, we're gonna collect the tax ID, a, uh, and then the full address. So the, the address line one, the city, state, postal code, and the country for the customer. Great, now if we refresh the browser on the right-hand side, we'll see all of our form controls, but if we hit that pay button, nothing happens yet because we haven't wired up the JavaScript that's required for this payment form. So let's go implement boleto.js next. And in here, we're gonna just start out with a wrapper that says, when the DOM is fully loaded, uh, initialize a brand new instance of Stripe. We're gonna pass in our publishable key here. Again, this is a publishable key for a Stripe account based in Brazil. Uh, so that we have access to the Boleto payment method type. Then we can grab reference to the form element that we just created earlier. And when the form is submitted, we wanna do two things. First, we're gonna create a payment intent on the server. And second, we're gonna confirm that payment intent on the client. We're gonna use the built-in fetch API to send a post request to create payment intent, which will return a promise that's going to resolve with either an error property that we're just gonna alias to backend error or that client secret property that we saw earlier. Again, this create payment intent endpoint is expecting two arguments, the payment method type and currency. Now in practice, you might hard code the payment method types, the list of payment method types that are accepted for your payment intent on the server directly. In order to demonstrate the widest variety of payment method types, we've opted to pass in the payment method type and currency combo from the client so that we can demonstrate, uh, yeah, so we can demonstrate the widest variety of the combinations of those two. Now, if the server responds with an error, then we are going to log out that error message and return early. Otherwise, we're gonna confirm that payment intent using the confirm Boleto payment method, which is available with Stripe.js. Now, confirm Boleto payment accepts two arguments. The first is that client secret property that we just got back from the server and the second is a big options block that we're gonna pass in all this data that we collected from the form. 
including some billing details like the address, the name, and the email. Here in this options block, we will also pass in um, the tax ID information. We'll use document.query selector to quickly grab reference to all of those input controls that we created earlier. And we will include those values in the options block that we just passed to confirm Boleto payment. All right, so confirm Boleto payment is going to return a promise that will resolve with either an error property or a payment intent. Again, we'll do a quick check to see if there was an error, and if so, we'll add uh, an error message displaying what was returned from Stripe when we attempted to confirm this. Otherwise, we'll simply log the status of the payment intent and the payment intent's ID. All right, great. At this point, we're ready to take it for a spin. So let's uh, refresh our page and hit pay. And you'll see that a modal is opened immediately. And this is the test mode voucher that you're going to see. That's the Boleto number that we're going to use to go and make a payment. Uh, if you click on download PDF, you'll see the full PDF document with the barcode, which is also handy if you're going down and, and paying in person at a, at a bank. Um, and ultimately, once we have in test mode completed that payment by closing out the modal, you'll see that the, uh, the payment has been made. We can go check it out in the Stripe dashboard. It's gonna start out in the state of incomplete and after about one minute, it will transition to succeeded. Now, one failure mode for Boleto is that the voucher expires without being paid. And so in order to test that scenario, we can pass in a special email address where we add in the alias of expire with delay, or you can just pass expire with delay at example.com in order to test this scenario. And you'll see that in the Stripe dashboard now, it'll again, the payment will start out as incomplete, but again, after about a minute or so, it will transition into this failed state, which allows you to sort of build your logic around the case where you have issued a Boleto voucher, but it never is actually paid and it does expire. It's worth noting that on the server, if you'd like to specify how many days until the Boleto voucher can expire, you can do that. You can also um, manually build your own voucher pages based on the payment intent that's coming back from, uh, from Stripe when confirming. So there's a number of different customization features. And today we've really just gone through the basics for setting up and accepting Boleto payments. Just as a super quick recap of what we covered today, in boleto.html, we imported three new script tags. One is importing Stripe.js, the other is utils for adding some status messages here. And finally, uh, we imported boleto.js for implementing the actual logic for creating that payment intent, confirming it here on the client. We also added a form where we collected the minimum details required to confirm a boleto payment, the name, email, tax ID, address, city, state, zip, and the country. Now in boleto.js, we initialized a brand new instance of the Stripe object passing in our publishable key. Again, this publishable key could come from slash config. Next, we grabbed reference to the form and added a submit handler that said, when the form is submitted, we wanna create a payment intent on the server passing in boleto and hey ows. And if there was an error, then we're gonna log that out to the console. Otherwise, we're gonna to try to confirm that payment on the client passing in all the information we collected from the form while and in addition to the client secret that was returned from the server in order to see that voucher. Uh, and then finally, we just added a little logging here at the bottom. So at this point, you should be fully equipped to implement a custom form with HTML and JavaScript to accept a Boleto payment. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.